Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to show you guys the final projects for um, KS Crafts Easter release. So this is the Easter 2024 release and these are the last um, couple of dies that I needed to um, work with. So um, real quick, I'll just show you um, the die sets. Um, I did the, whoops, the Peeps Bag Topper and this is super cute. So it makes two different um, sizes. So you can get like the smaller size, which is gonna be two peeps, and then the triple um, peeps that's um, uh, the little bit larger. And you do have these guys here go on the larger one, and then that little guy goes on the smaller, or you can kind of you know interchange it if you want. Um, I didn't make mine into a shaker, but you do have the ability to turn this into a shaker. So super cute, can't wait to try that. Just haven't got to that. And then you actually have a super fun um, piece here. You have a little um, tie and then the layering piece for the collar. So you can do a little boy bunny and then there's a little tie here uh, or a little bow. So that could be either a bow tie or like a bow in the bunny's ear. Um, that is if you wanna show like kind of the back of the bunny and have like a little bunny tail. You have some cute little um, glasses and then those guys right there are the parts that create the um, eyes. So you have, I like that they emboss that so you kind of know exactly where to place it. So I wish more people did that with the facial expressions um, because that's like super helpful. So love that one. Um, I also uh, did the uh, a little couple of embellishments with the bunny greeting stamp and die set. So um, these little greetings here fit into the little sign. So actually this one here, it fits into that. So you have some bunny loves you, Easter blessings, bunny kisses, happy Easter, you're extra special. I'm so excited for you. You're excellent and hello spring. And um, this is really cute. So I just stamped a couple of these out and then you die cut it with this one. And then this is your base piece. So you actually can layer that on top to create a cute little sign. Um, you have your bunny, which he can either be standing, which he's really cute just standing like this, or you can have him sitting and holding the sign as well and then you kind of layer his feet kind of on top of the sign that's how i did mine uh, you have a little bow which i didn't use um, you have the eyes the nose and mouth and um, that right there is the little inside of the ears and i honestly don't know what that little guy is yeah i don't know didn't use that one so um okay so super cute and then we have the easter bunny bows. So this just creates one style of bow, actually technically two. So you um, can cut your base of your bow out here and then layer it on top with this really cute um, layering piece, which has the stitch detail. And then it has like the little bunnies um, cutouts, which is really, really cute. Uh, if you didn't want to do bunnies, you could just do the bow just like this. So um, definitely you've got two bows out of this. I love the tail that goes this way. I don't have I think I might only have one bow set that has the tails going this way rather than out to the side. So I love that. You have a little centerpiece, little bunny, and that goes in the center um, if you want. And then you also have this piece, which, you know, does your centerpiece as well. So those are the bunny, Easter bunny bows. Uh, we've got the Easter flag. So this is um, definitely an add-on set. Here's the original. So this is the original set, it's called Summer Flags. This gives you um, a really fun base piece and then a layering piece that goes over top that has like a stitch detail. And if you want this layering piece here, you do have to purchase the Summer Flag set, um, which comes with a bunch of words. So this I feel like is a must because I like this piece here. And then there's tons of add-on sets throughout the different seasons. Um, this is the Easter flag. So you have your base, and then when you take that layering piece, it just kind of goes right there like that, and it just creates like a really fun layered one. Um, if you don't have that set, you can certainly cut this out twice and then just kind of cut off like that scallop detail to give yourself a layering piece. So that's, you know, definitely doable. And then you have all these fun little words, um, egg hunt, spring, faith, Easter, and bunny. And um, these aren't shadow words, but if you want kind of a shadow word effect, just cut them out like two or three times in different um, color paper and then um, offset them when you glue them together, which is what I did. And I'll show you that. 
Um, and then also before I show you the projects, just real quick, um, in case you're wondering, most of the papers that I used in my Easter stuff um, was from Echo Park Paper. It's the Here Comes Easter collection and then the It's Easter Time. So I didn't grab the papers because I've used most of them, but these are the sticker sheets. I just don't use stickers a lot, but it, the paper pack comes with um, a sticker sheet each and then I can't remember how many pieces of paper, but um, they're really fun little sets and then um, you definitely have stickers to go along with. I just, like I said, haven't used them yet. Um, so let's get started. I will show you what I created. Um, let's start with these little guys. Um, so this, oh my gosh, isn't he just the cutest ever? Um, so, so fun. So this is again, the bunny greeting stamp and die. So you can see there's the little sign that he's holding and I love his little feet like kind of sticking out. Um, so it looks like he's kind of sitting down holding it, you know, on his lap and uh him or her but um and then to do his feet just so it looked more realistic i did cut that out of foam first then i did my blue piece which is my base piece and then my top piece and it just gives a really really cute um like kind of very three-dimensional looking bunny and then the sign i did um glue the base piece directly to my bunny and then popped the white part of the sign up on just some little foam dots and kept him super simple just added his layering pieces for the ears added his little face and mouth and nose and then just put a couple of little flowers and these flowers um are from michael's so um there's like a pack that has like a ton of these in there and i just every once in a while i buy them and um, they last a long time but here's the little turquoise bunny. Somebody loves you. But isn't that just the cutest little embellishment? So I just kept them like really, really simple. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love those. Um, and then this is the little Easter flag set. But look how cute, you guys. Like, isn't that just so sweet? So you can see I used that layering piece. I did pop that up on some foam dots. And um, I just think it looks... It just gives it a lot more dimension rather than gluing it straight down to the base. I love the little like star cutouts. And then um, I took the word bunny, I cut it out in pink, teal, and gold. And then you can see how I offset it. So where I see, Stamp Market does this all the time with their words. Um, they will do like four or five, you know, layers and they offset it. And it's the, that's where I got, you know, the idea. And I just absolutely love it. Like I used to do it with just two sometimes if I didn't have an actual shadow word, but they do it all the time with multiples and, and they're very kind of famous for that and for their like rainbow colors. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really cute. And then I just added some of those flower cabochons that I've been using on most of my Easter projects. And I had this little sweet pink mushroom and the little bunny. And just added that there. So I think those came out really, really cute. I love this one just because I love the font of that word Easter. Super cute. And I love like the yellow gingham on this um, aqua kind of teal color. Super, super cute. Love that. And then this is the final one. I did spring. But aren't these guys, like, I think these are just so cute. I've been trying to find, like, the little the littlest type I can. Like, I think this is, like, na uh, on AliExpress under nail art. And maybe even those, the bunny. Um, so you can find some really tiny ones um, under their, like, nail supply stuff. Um, but the flowers are just, like, just flower capuchons as if you're looking for those, just do a search for flower cabochons. Um, and then this, oh, my board's dirty. So this is the little bow. Um, what did I say that one was called? Oh my gosh, my brain. Um, oh yeah, Easter bunny bows. Oh my gosh. Like, look how pretty that is. It's the perfect size. Um, I just love like the size of this. It's probably like, I don't know, two, two and a half inches maybe wide. Um, I love like the little tail and I just think that little bunny cutout is so, so sweet. And then I did use that, uh, centerpiece to wrap around just because some of it, you know, shows. And then I added a little bunny 
cabochon. But isn't this the sweetest with their little like flower in her hair? So again, kept them really simple. I don't like to um, sew my bows. Um, I mean, they're, the, the companies now are doing a very nice stitch detail. And I realize that stitching them uh, like with gold thread is, you know, gives it a lot more, <coughs> excuse me, um, like dimension. But um, I'm kind of a perfectionist. And if I can't sew it perfect, I prefer not to. Isn't that terrible? So um, yeah, I keep mine pretty simple, kind of clean. Um, and then I did a little daisy and I found these like little butterfly uh, nail art. Um, they're kind of like resin, but I glued that on there. I thought that was really, really cute. And then here's the pink one. Isn't that just darling? Ugh, love, love, love that die set. And then the last one are those um, bag toppers. So again, these are the Peeps bag toppers. And here's the, the double one. And um, you can see like how cute would that be as a shaker? Um, but I didn't do it as a shaker. I wanted to keep it, like I said, really simple. Um, so I just popped my bunny up on foam. So I cut him out on foam and then um, a second layer of the cardstock like the pattern paper. And then I just added a really cute, it's kind of pearl uh, flat back bow and then added some of those little flowers. Super, super cute. And then um, I just cut that out of, you know, pattern paper. And then for the back piece, I just used like a plain white kind of shimmery paper. So um, you can kind of do that a couple of different ways. And let me show you that actually, so you guys understand. A lot of a lot of die sets. Um, when you have a bag topper, you'll have like the whole piece, and then you just fold it in half. Um, the way these are made is you cut it out twice, and then you can trim off the back just right there on that that score mark, and then you fold it over. You fold the front over, and you just kind of glue glue your back piece. So um, anyway, it's a it's a good way to make die sets a little bit less expensive. So if you see that, that's why it, it's, that way they can sell it a little bit less and you know save us a little bit of money. So um, anyway, so this is the little like three, three peep bag topper, but just super cute, super simple. So I, I wanna do some, I think what I wanna do, instead of doing the bag topper with, with the shadow, or excuse me, with the shaker, I think I'll make some embellishments. Um, so, the this little piece here only works on this guy it doesn't work on the smaller one so this is the size that you'll be able to make into a shaker but i think these would be really cute just to do some actual embellishments and then you could glue them you know like to actual projects so super super cute can't wait to try that uh okay well that's it that's everything for the chaos crafts easter release i have all my videos um down below you can just kind of scroll through my videos and I did them in the, uh, probably, I feel like I started Easter. I might've started at the end of December. So if you just look for my December, January and February, um, videos, you'll can see all the Easter stuff that I've been making, um, with these, uh, super fun die sets. All right, guys, that's it for now. You guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.